So I'm almost to the top of the nub. I started clear down past that lake, the farthest away lake, and even behind that at Lake Magog. And man, these views are worth the night hike. Take you with me. Let's see what the reveal is at the top of the dub. fairly quick. <laughs> Let's go check this side real quick. Ah, I see this my dog. bear spray. <laughs> I'm hiking by myself in the evening, so I'm protected. A little bit of snow. Okay, so I think I'm gonna stop here. Well, I wanted to show you pictures of the Lake Magog. Oh, maybe up there. Okay. Geez, I wonder if you can get down this way to get back to camp. That would be cool. Going a totally different way. Alright. So that is Lake Magog. And the camping area is right about in that foresty area right there. It's not right on the lake, it's actually away from the lake um, in a beautiful forest area. It's just stunning. Okay, and there's the lodge. So, man, I wish I knew if this went down. It seems like it absolutely has to, but maybe it just ends right there. Okay, 
So, the red roofs over there is the lodge and what people will do a lot of times is they will helicopter in because it's the only way to get here is to helicopter in and then they'll camp and hike it's pretty cool all right well i kind of feel like i have to go to this end now because I'm just giving me a beautiful photo I need to take. And I think it ends right up there. Go bear. Go bear. Go. Good. Go. Okay. I just came face to face with a grizzly. Um, my adrenaline's going. Um, I was at the top of the nub and I was playing my music because I knew I was the only one out here and talking. Um, and basically we came face to face. Um, I would say, I don't know, he was probably, oh, there's a little bridge just right there. So he was just like right in front of me. And then he went up on the rocks. I just stood my ground, um, kept saying, go bear, go bear, stood my ground, had my bear spray ready to go. Just kept saying, get out of here, bear, leave bear, go bear. And he uh, just went up the rocks and I just standed my ground, I just stood my ground for a while. And once he took the higher ground, I turned around and I slowly started backing down the trail. Um, and then he kept going on. He turned around to look at me a couple of times. I just kept yelling, hey bear, hey bear. My music was playing as well. My bear spray was ready to go. Um, because I had to stand my ground because we were right in the trail together, um, I was just, you know, being calm as can be, um, authoritative, and well, that was exciting, that's for sure. But anyway, I'm almost back to camp. Um, I will keep playing my music and saying, hey bear, I did see his fresh tracks going up the nib or the nub trail. Um, so he actually went up the trail. I'm glad I didn't encounter him on that trail. I was up on the nub um, on the wide part of the trail as it started to open up. So anyhow, as you can see, well, it's about, I don't know what time it is now. It's probably about 10 o'clock, 10, 15, gets dark at 11. And I will be back in about half an hour maybe a little quicker because I was moving at a pretty good pace. Anyhow, that was exciting. The moon's coming out from the clouds right in front of me. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that.